All right, in this lesson, uh, we're going to learn how to capture our own sound, our own voice. If we want to use our voice in our Flash movie or our Flash animation, how do we capture it? How are you going to use your computer to capture your voice or your sound that you want to make and then place it into your Flash animation? Well, here's how we're going to do it. Um, to begin, uh, what I'm going to introduce you to is something called QuickTime Player, and on your computer, uh, you'll either find this down on the desktop, or excuse me, the dock, or you're going to need to go into your finder, and you're going to need to go to applications, and or utilities, and find uh, your QuickTime Player. Now, it's in utilities on my computer. It may be in utilities on yours, or it will also uh, possibly be in applications. If that's the case, you simply find it and drag it to the dock. All right, and now what we're gonna do is we're going to record uh, your voice. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna select the QuickTime player, and when I do that, I'm going to uh, select my file menu, and I'm going to do a new audio recording. Now, as soon as I do that, uh, you can see that I have the auto recording uh, tool here and you can already see that my voice is activated by these little green lines that are uh, appearing as I talk as, it, as it's picking up my voice uh, through the uh, microphone. Okay, so let's go ahead and just do a recording. I'm going to select my uh, button here and that's going to activate the recording and start to record it. So I'm just going to do a simple one, two, three, test, test, one, two, three, test, test. All right, so we activate it. One, two, three, test, test. One, two, three, test, test. And then we'll end it. And now you can uh, check it and you can uh, play it back. One, two, three, test, test. One, two, three, test, test. And there you go. So now we've recorded our voice and we've heard it. And you'll notice that it's uh, been a, given a default uh, name here, okay, under uh, Audio 2 uh, Movie, okay, so what we're going to do is now we're going to save this, we're going to save it onto our desktop, okay, and so what I'm going to do is uh, create it so that it's saved as a wave, because if we take this version right now as an Audio 2.mov file, we're not going to be able to put that into our Flash movie, so we're going to have to create it as a wave. Uh, sound it clip and that way it'll it'll be placed into our movie without any problems. So let's go ahead and go to our file menu and now we're going to simply scroll down to export and we are going to uh, rename this clip uh, as our uh, test. We'll just call it test sound. Alright, and you'll also notice now that you have export settings, so what I would like you to do is to uh, select uh, sound to wave and simply come over here to the uh, blue button, and you'll notice you have a lot of different uh, choices here. Uh, you could do uh, movie to flash video, FLV, but what you're going to do is make sure that it's selected as a sound wave, okay? So we select sound wave, and we will save this, uh, just uh, keep the default settings, and as soon as I do this, we're going to make sure that it's saved to our desktop. So as soon as I do this, we get a nice little icon here uh, for our sound wave. So let's go ahead now and open Flash. And you can see I've already got my Flash movie here. What I'm going to do is create a new layer for my sound. And I'm going to uh, make a new keyframe. And I'm going to uh, insert a keyframe here. And then however long I want my sound to play or, or a section so that it can uh, sit on that layer and then play. So we'll do a new keyframe. And now I've got a section here of frames where I can put that sound effect in. So now what I need to do is import the sound file that I just created uh, into my library. And you can see my library on the right side is lots and lots of sound clips that I've recorded. All right, so let's go ahead and do an import to library, and we'll find our uh, sound clip, and here it is, test sound wave, select it, 
and now it's down here in my file in my library and there it is test sound wave and I'm going to select the frame where I want it to drop in or begin at and I'm going to drop this in and there you have it let's go ahead and play it very quickly here so you can hear it one two three test test one two three test test there you go now you've uh, imported a sound clip that you've made with your own voice recorded your own voice so go ahead try this on your own computer if you have any problems contact me by email or see me in class i hope this was a good lesson for you